So in this video, we are going to look a little bit more at the modeling process. So if we've, uh, if you're at this stage of the project, uh, you're you're well on your way. You kind of understand uh, the different component modes. You understand how to select things. You know, understand how to move things and scale things. You also understand how to add new geometry by using the multi-cut tool. And that is a lot of information. And so, why do we work this way, and how does it work? So let's just um, let's let's delete this. Actually, no, let's keep this and we'll sort of experiment a little bit with it. So let's talk a little bit more about the multi-cut tool here for a second and the idea of how it works. So one thing that you remember me saying is that when we use the multi-cut tool, you just want to hold down the control key and kind of hover. And you can see that if I hover, uh, it creates these loops and these loops kind of go all the way around the object. and Maybe the first question you're wondering is like, well, why do we need to use a loop? Why do we need to go all the way around an object just to create something? And we're gonna talk about that in a second, but also how does Maya even know that that loop goes all the way around an object? And how does it know what path to follow when it creates that geometry? So that's all important questions to ask. So let's just experiment a little bit here. Let's just try something. I'm gonna cut a little line through one of these um, quads here. I'm going to make this into a triangle by cutting here and then cutting there and then hitting the enter key. So now we've got a triangle and as you might remember triangles are bad. Triangles are bad for a number of reasons at least. Now keep in mind there are there are instances when you model where triangles are very useful but for the way that we are learning to model here triangles are they're not allowed. You can't have them in your model and there's a number of reasons for that uh, which we'll get into later. But for now, you'll like watch what happens when we try to use our multi-cut tool again, and we've got a triangle here. You can see that the tool doesn't go all the way around. If we click, right, all of a sudden we've got bad geometry here. This is sort of dirty geometry, right? And the reason that it's the multi-cut tool loop does not complete is that in order for the multi-cut tool to work, it needs to go through another four-sided polygon. So whenever the multi-cut tool encounters a triangle or anything other than a quad, it stops, it sort of freaks out. And the problem with that is, is now if we create another loop, boom, we've got, uh, we actually got a quad back here in both areas, but it starts to kind of confuse the multi-cut tool. You can see that it's now creating a triangle here. If I put another loop in and things get start, start to get really ugly and compoundedly so. So what are we creating here? So the, the keywords here, let's just get a box in the scene and let's pull the box. Let's go into object mode, pull this guy out of here. All right, so basically, When I compose, like say I want to do some modeling here, I always want to compose using loops. Now, you may remember that I said that I wanted you to use as little geometry as possible. But if let's say when we're going to, we'll learn how to use this next tool in a second, but let's say I'm adding more geometry to this and I'm using what's called the extrude tool to do this. And as I do this, I need to kind of have the geometry to get started with. Now, the tempting thing, like let's say I've just created this model here is if you're thinking to yourself, well, okay, that's pretty cool. And if I'm trying to keep to a low poly modeling situation, I can get rid of a lot of this extra geometry. So I could get rid of this and this, and that's fine, that's great. And I could also get rid of this and this, right? And you start to think that you can get rid of these things. But what happens when you get rid of this line here? You're gonna see very quickly, if I delete that, that it sort of looks okay at first, right? Doesn't look like I'm really doing anything wrong. I'm just sort of deleting the geometry that I don't need. But in reality, you need all of this stuff, right? And we'll talk about why. So here I'm just deleting everything except for the geometry that I created. So now, it seems as though we have no unnecessary geometry left. But look, look what happens. So one thing that we have not yet explored in here 
is what do we do after we've created this model? Is we're going to use this thing called a smoothing algorithm to smooth this out. But you'll also notice, and this is what happens when we try to smooth this out and make this round, it turns into an absolute mess. And there are holes in this, it kind of rips itself apart. Not only that, but you can see that my tools don't really even behave at all anymore. I'm holding down the control key and Maya is not really giving me anything except for the areas where I've got nice clean quads, right? And in those areas, it's fine, but everywhere else it sort of freaks out and it doesn't know what to do. So the bottom line is the whole logic of Maya is to stay within this quad architecture because your model will not self-destruct as this does here and you'll be able to use the tools properly. Um, Okay, so let's actually talk a little bit about what that smoothing tool is in the next video.